Hi everyone, welcome to Ardemi. I am Dr. Nandita and today's lecture will be focused on classification of elements and periodicity in properties. Example 12 is asking the set representing the correct order of ionic radius is the following. Let's check. So, the elements which are given as lithium plus, beryllium 2 plus, Na plus and Mg 2 plus. So, what we know that from the periodic table that ionic radius is increases, is increasing moving from top to bottom. We know that from in a group or we can say that in a group. Down the group, the ionic radius increases, right? And decreases in a period, across a period, from left to right. This is the fact that we need to know. Now, if you arrange the given elements in of periodic table in the following manner. So, we are having 1A and 2A elements. So, lithium and sodium, beryllium and magnesium. These are the elements which are given, right. So, if you follow the trend that is ionic radius increases down a group and decreases in a period and if you know the exact positioning of the elements in periodic table. So, here we have um, group 1A and 2A elements. So, we can easily get the trend as Na plus is greater than Li plus is greater than Ng2 plus is greater than Perlium2 plus. So, this is the trend. So, if you check the options, option B is the correct option. Example 13 is asking among Al2O3, SiO2, P2O3 and SO2, the correct order of acid strength is. So, what we know that if you go down along a, down a group, for group I am writing capital G. What we know that acidic nature of oxide decreases and along a period acidic nature increases of oxides increases. This is the information that we need to know. Okay. Now, if you arrange the given elements that is and we are considering the oxides. So, elements are aluminium, silicon, phosphorus and sulphur. Right. So, and if you consider their atomic number 13 for aluminium, 14 for silicon, 15 for, for phosphorus and 16 for sulfur. And uh, given oxides are Al2O3, SiO2, P2O3 and SO2. Now, if you consider this fact, then what you will see that Al2O3 is amphoteric in nature. We have already learnt about this. Just to make your ideas clear. And if you go along a period, acidic nature will increase. So, most acidic element or most acidic oxide would be at the maximum right side. most. So, now if you arrange, you will get the correct order 
of the acid strength would follow Al2O3 would be would not be acidic it is having a, a amphoteric nature and then comes SiO2 then comes P2O3 and then SO2 is having the maximum acid strength or most acidic so if you check the options option D is the correct option right very simple now on to example 16 these two problems are given from JE main exams of 2022 example 16 is asking the first ionization enthalpies of beryllium boron nitrogen and oxygen will follow the order so let's let's write down their electronic configuration so beryllium is 4 the atomic number so 1 is 2 2 is 2 which is completely filled and completely filled electronic configuration would represent a stable configuration now 5 is for boron atomic number electronic configuration would be 1 is 2 2 is 2 2 p 1 7 is for nitrogen and electronic configuration is 1 is 2 2 s 2 2 p 3 again it is a half filled electronic configuration half filled state electronic configuration right and the last one is oxygen which is having atomic number of 8 and the out electronic configuration in 1 s 2 2 s 2 2 p 4 the ionization energy increases on moving from left to right we know and in a period due to increase of z effective or effective nuclear charge so order would be oxygen is greater than a is greater than b is greater than b e but there are greater stability for completely filled electronic configuration as well as for half filled electronic configuration so this would not be the proper trend the proper trend should be nitrogen is greater than oxygen is greater than beryllium is greater than boron because nitrogen is having half filled electronic configuration and also beryllium is having completely filled electronic configuration so nitrogen will come before oxygen and here again beryllium will come before boron so this is the correct trend and it is following the option D. So, D is the correct option. The last problem, example 17 is asking the most common oxidation state of lanthanoid elements is plus 3. Which of the following is likely to deviate easily from plus 3 oxidation state? The options are given CE, LA, LU and GD. So, what we know that Ce which is our of atomic number 58 it will show plus 3 oxidation state but it can easily deviate to get plus 4 oxidation state why if you consider the electronic configuration of Ce you will get the Nobel gas configuration of xenon which is 59 I'm sorry 54 and the rest is 4F1, 5D1 and 6S2. This is for CE. Now if you get if you go for CE3 what will happen to the electronic configuration xenon 4F1 5d0 two electrons from 6s orbital and two electron uh, one electron from 5d orbital will be removed to give it 4f1 5d0 outer configuration now ce4 plus what will happen to the electronic configuration xenon 4f0 
and this is nothing but xenon itself because electron the last electron is removed from 4 f 0 and this is giving Ce4 plus as noble gas electronic configuration. So, Ce3 plus will easily lose one electron to get the electronic configuration of xenon and to be Ce4 plus. So, the option A is the correct option. So, with this I would like to end this lecture. I hope you have enjoyed and you have understood every concept that we have discussed in this chapter. Thank you very much for your kind attention. Keep visiting Academy. Thank you so much. Have a good day. Thank you.